Christ the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joe. And now, listen, the Lord has spoken with me again. Uh, today, at about midday, the Lord spoke with me. And He spoke with me in a very, very mighty way about the mission of the Lord to Suriname and to the French Guiana. And again, the Lord took me and presented me in that nation, and then the enemy was in a place. And the Lord caused me to charge. So a very tremendous fight ensued. Again, this time I think around the gates towards the stadium. So there is going to be a very serious battle. A very, very serious fight is going to take place in the spiritual realm. As the Lord sends me to Suriname, the nation of Suriname, and the French Guiana. Again, uh, today at about midday, the Lord took me to the land of Suriname and also the French Guiana. And then there was a big fight that ensued. And the Lord brought down the strongholds. So there is going to be a big fight in the spiritual realm. And that can only speak about the fact that the Lord indeed loves those nations very, very much. Extremely very much. He loves them so much that he's fighting for them to see this end-time revival. He's going to open the floodgates of heaven and bless those nations. There must be a big revival that is going to break out in Suriname and French Guiana. But there is going to be a tremendous battle, a very big fight when the Lord brings me there in the spiritual realm. That will bring down the strongholds that have held that land including the kingdoms of darkness, the sexual immorality, the homosexuality, the tourist industry in that country has flourished homosexuality, prostitution, drug addiction. I see some cults also. I see people worshipping in another way. The Lord brought me and challenged me in front of them. And then we clean them up, totally clean them up. So there's going to be a tremendous fight, a historic fight, is going to take place in that part of the world as the Lord continues to take over these nations and establish the agenda of heaven even as we prepare for the coming of the Messiah. This greatly speaks about the time we are in and the fact that the Lord must now move in and bless the nations with their eternity, with their spiritual inheritance that nobody can stand in the way anymore. It will be established that the Lord is God Almighty. Those who have ears, may they prepare in righteousness, even as the Lord begins to assemble His nations. Shalom.